afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you for the opportunity to present. Uh, quick introduction. My name is Rohan Sanil. I'm the co-founder CEO of Deep North, uh, based here in Foster City, uh, San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, a quick introduction on Deep North. Um, uh, if you want to go to the next slide. So Deep North, uh, uh, based here in Silicon Valley, Foster City, uh, our entire mission is to digitize the physical world uh, for our customers that have a physical footprint. Uh, and uh, with our uh, computer vision and AI platform. And what we do is we tap into the existing infrastructure, which is the camera infrastructure and provide uh, insights uh, and decision-making insights for our customers. Um, so we look at the physical world as if it is a web page. So we convert whether it's a shopping center, retail, commercial real estate, warehouse, or an airport uh, into a digital format and provide the capability of uh, you know, presenting that as if it was a web page. So now customers can look at one store or thousand stores or hundreds of warehouses as if it was a website and understand everything that's happening in there. And within that, we are very focused on object detection, object tracking, and analysis of that object. And it's primarily on human behavior in the physical world. So when we talk, uh, the company is five years old right now. Uh, we are transforming the brick and mortar enterprises. And if you look at all our customers that uh, we've gone live with, everyone is using technologies like RFID sensors, beacons, Wi-Fi, cell phones, uh, data, and even human clickers. And the consistent message that we've got for the last four or five years is that data is not accurate. So we cannot make good decisions with that data. It's all derived uh, metrics uh, to reach that level of accuracy. So Deep North's computer vision platform provides that highest level of accuracy of understanding the human behavior in the physical world and provide that level of uh, insights that each and every stakeholder needs. Uh, next slide. So our core technology and competitive advantage is our video analytics platform that uh, leverages on current camera infrastructure and derive results in real time. So literally, whether it is a 1.4 million square feet shopping center or million square feet uh, warehouse or an airport like Atlanta Hartsfield Airport, we can provide information through existing video cameras in real time. Uh, we tap into any cameras whether it is a $50 camera or a $1,000 camera, all we need is 720p or 1080p feeds. Uh, we uh, look at those feeds and we do all the processing on-premise. Uh, it's 100% processed on-premise. And by doing that, we are GDPR, CCPA, PII compliant. We do not need to store a single video after we process it. Only metadata goes to the cloud. And again, on the cloud, it could be any choice that of cloud that the customer wants, whether it's AWS, Azure, or GCP. And we have a full-fledged visualization layer, uh, as well as a mobile app. So if you look at the entire pipeline, we have now taken a warehouse or a commercial real estate or an airport and transformed it into a web page you can literally manage your entire properties from your mobile phone. We are a data processor. It's your asset. We are data processor, data analyzing, analyzer, and create insights for you. Uh, and we call ourselves as the ubiquitous platform that can reside or tap into any cameras. The on-premise compute can be any hardware uh, vendor, whether it's Dell, HP, IBM, Lenovo, the cloud could be your cloud, our cloud, doesn't matter. 
And the analysis could still be on our platform, but we have a full-fledged API solution that can feed into uh, our customer's platform. Uh, uh, so that's how we uh, deploy our solutions. It's fast. So for example, we could- We have another on... 30 seconds. All right, uh, next slide. So uh, the use cases are understanding people flow, occupancy, space, management, uh, understanding how vehicles behave in the environment, uh, and many other uh, applications that uh, our customers want. Uh, we have detected, tracked, and traced more than 130 million human objects in the physical world in real live environments, and our customers our companies like Home Depot, Delta Airlines, both are investors in Deep North. Uh, and we are now working with large uh, enterprises like Wayfair and Lucid, hopefully uh, to help in their uh, warehouses and manufacturing. We recently won the contract from DHS TSA to build uh, the uh, seamless check-in uh, for uh, the TSA uh, check-in process. We are live at Delta Airlines Hartsfield uh, Airport where we analyze and predict what the queue lengths and times and the service times could look like and send out real-time alerts for associates so that they can go out and help customers. And we have many other uh, examples and use cases uh, with our customers both here in the US as well as Europe. And now we are also expanding in the GCC markets. Uh, next slide. And if you look at it, you know, a massive warehouse over here can be very easily within a weekend converted into a digital web, uh, warehouse. And it can be AI powered with existing video cameras. You do not need anything uh, uh, other than your existing infrastructure, whether it is understanding dwell, understanding uh, loading times, uh, understanding uh, the safety, the movement of people, movement of uh, forklifts and various other uh, equipment within the warehouse. Everything is analyzed. Uh, insights are uh, you know, derived from that. And we also give recommendations, uh, predictive and prescriptive analytics. And we track those uh, and make sure that uh, the predictive and prescriptive analytics are generating ROI for the customers. Next slide. I think um, we have to wrap it up here at this point. Maybe you can get, skip the, wait to the end and show what your ask is. Sure, sure. Uh, go to the next slide. Next slide. Uh, so uh, this is our roadmap for our products. Uh, next slide. So uh, we've, uh, you know, won our first uh, government project. Uh, we also have our second uh, government project with the Air Force, uh, which we've just uh, started working with them. And uh, the ask over here is, you know, we've been very successful uh, in the enterprise market, and we wanted to connect with the government uh, entities and make sure we are uh, with the right teams, uh, presenting to the right folks within the uh, uh, government uh, world. Uh, so we've uh, not, uh, this is our first project with the federal government and we want to now start working with the right team members uh, within the government entity and present Deep North Solution, present our Kickstarter programs and uh, hopefully we could scale up uh, in this uh, vertical too. Thank you very much. Um, let's open up the floor for questions from our panelists. Yeah, so this is uh, Ted Machuba from uh, the, the Army at uh, Fort Benning. Um, so I, I was really interested with what you're showing in terms of uh, capability within uh, a factory or an airport. Um, so do you see your, uh, your process as being able to work in a very austere environment with, uh, with uh, sensors on on uh, robotic systems and, uh, and communications that may not necessarily be as, as pristine as you'd have inside of, a, uh, of a, uh, uh, a building or something like that. Could you move it out to that tactical edge over? Sure. 
So we are also doing uh, at with Delta below the wing analysis, which is the, on the on the tarmac uh, and the apron analytics. So we analyze as soon as an aircraft comes in. Uh, by the time it comes in and before and uh, by the time it leaves or takes off, what all happens within there? All the you know analysis of each and every uh, equipment that moves. Uh, does it follow SOPs? The human behavior. Uh, do they follow the standard operating procedures? So we're working on uh, very uh, uh, critical uh, applications for Delta, which is below the wing applications. Uh, and I don't know if that is something close to what you would be looking at, but we'll be glad to share some of those use cases that uh, we are measuring in terms of performance and operation efficiencies for below the wing applications. Well, I, I would say that, that uh, if you can imagine that, uh, that that's taking place on a grass airfield someplace, you know, with, uh, with mud and, and dirt and things like that. Um, and then uh, one of the ways that we've been working with industry lately is through other transactional agreements. Have, have you had, had any experience with OTAs? Because uh, no. it's, go ahead. No, we've not had that experience yet. Okay. So our first experiences with the DHS TSA. So I, I will tell you that, uh, that the way that really works is uh, you, uh, you answer a request for, for white paper, for prototype proposals, submit something, and then uh, you work with a consortium that is the, uh, the industry facing for that. So that might be something that you might be interested in, uh, in looking into. And there are consortia uh, that, that do uh, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of business transferring government money to industry to uh, to uh, uh, mature technologies for military uses. Over. Absolutely. So we do have, you know, uh, our applications that are true edge that are right uh, at the camera level uh, on a box that can, uh, with 5G, can provide real time insights. So we've got a couple of uh, applications that are uh, deployed with customers. So definitely we'll look at that, uh, what you just mentioned and uh, you know, uh, uh, try to approach it from that angle. 